can read the uh, I don't know if you can read all three of them because it's long so maybe we can read the first one Ananta Vijayam Rajam Vijayam Rajam Kunti Putro Yudhishthiram Makula Sahadevascham Devascham Sugo shamani pushpakao Shamani pushpakao Kashyascha parameshvasa Kashyascha parameshvasa Shikandi cha maharata Cha maharata Dristadium no viratascha No viratascha Satyakischa parajitam, parajitam, Drupado draupadeyascha, draupadeyascha, Sarvashaha priti vipate, priti vipate, Saubhadrascha mahabahu, Saubhadrascha mahabahu, Shankandad muhu pritak pritak Muhu pritak pritak <coughs> So your turn Ananta vijayam rajam Kunti putro yudhishthiram Nakula sadevacham Sugo shamani pushpakao Ananta Vijayam. The count's name Ananta Vijaya. Raja. The king. Kunti Putra. The son of Kunti. Yudhishthira. Yudhishthir. Nakula. Nakula. Sahadeva. Sahadev. Cham. And. Sugosha Manipush Pakao. The conscious named Sugosha and Manipush Pakao. Kashyaha, the king of Kashi. Cha and Parama Ishu Asha, the great archer. Shikandi, <coughs> Shikandi, Cha, also. Maharataha, one who can fight alone against thousands. Trishtyadyumnaha, Trishtyadyumna, the king, no, the son of King Drupada. Virataha, vi Virata, the Cha, also. Satyaki, Satyaki. Cha, and Aparajitaham, who had never been vanquished. Drupadaha, Drupada, the king, uh, the king of Panchala. Draupadeyaha, the sons of Draupadi. Also, Savasaha, all Kritivi Pate, O King, Saubadraha, Abhimanyu, the son of Subhadra, Cha, also Mahabahu, mighty armed, Shankan, Conchels. Dadmuhu, blue, pritak pritak, each separately. Translation, 
by his divine grace, Esi Bhaktivedanta Swami, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. King Yudhishthir, the son of Kunti, blew his conch shell, the Ananta Vijay, and Nakula and Sahadev blew the Sugosha and Mani Pushpaka. That great archer, the king of Kashi, the great fighter Shikandi Drishtadyumna Virat, the unconquerable Satyaki Drupada, the sons of Draupadi and others, O king, such as the mighty armed son of Subhadra, all blew their respective conch shells. Purpled by Shia Prabhupada. Sanjaya informed King Yudhisht, King Dhritarashtra, sorry, very tactfully that this unwise policy of deceiving the sons of Pandu and endeavoring to enthrone his own sons on the seat of the kingdom was not very laudable. The signs already clearly indicated that the old Kuru dynasty would be killed in that great battle. Beginning with the grandsire Bhishma, down to the grandsons like Abhimanyu and others, including kings from many states of the world, all were present there and all were doomed. The whole catastrophe was due to King Dhritarashtra because he encouraged the policy followed by his sons. I read the verse again. King Yudhishthir, the son of Kunti, blew his conch shell. The Ananta Vijay and Nakula and Sadev blew the Sugosha and Manipushpaka. That great archer, the king of Kashi, the great fighter Shikandi, Drishta Dhyumna, Virata, the unconquerable Satyaki, Drupada, the sons of Draupadi and others, O king, such as the mighty armed son of Subhadra, all blew their respective conch shells. Om Namo Bhagavate, oh, I said already that. So, Om Aganati Mirandasya Gananjala Sarakaya, Chaksur Melitam Yena Tasmai Sigurave Namaha, Bandeham Siguru Siyuta Padakamanam Siguru Vaishnavamsha, Shirupa Sagrajatam Sahagana Ranglatam Vitam Tam Sajivam, Salvetam Savarutam Parijana Saitam Shikishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalitam Sivishakam Vitamsha. Manchakalpa tarubhyasya kripa sindhu bhya evacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha Jaya si kishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda siyadveta garada shivasadi gaura bhakta vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So thank you very much to come uh, to help me uh, try to comment Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> so we will try to have a nice Krishna Gita together. I'm not very expert and qualified, but with your kindness, certainly something may come out. <laughs> 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 so the, the verse is about blowing conch shell. So conch shell is a very fascinating uh, item that belongs to Lord Krishna, as we know, and also to Lord Vishnu. <coughs> so we know that uh, Vishnu carries four symbols, and the, the Padma, Padma, the lotus flower, Chakra, the disc, and Gada, the, the mace, and Chanka, the Kanchi. And we know that uh, when Krishna is walking on the dust of Vrindavan, the, the conch shell is, is visible because there is a, also a conch shell that is on the lotus feet of Krishna. And uh, the conch shell is a, a symbol of a victory. Uh, it is uh, interesting that uh, before uh, the battle, uh, the, the great warrior of both parties blew are blowing their own conch shell and uh, only by hearing the sound of the conch shell you can already know who will be the, the victorious in the battle. Uh, 
And uh, as Prabhupada explained, that just by hearing the conch shell of the side of the Pandava, already we can know that there is no hope for the opposite side, that the victory will be on the side of the Pandava. And uh, the, the conch shell of Krishna is, is a divine conch shell panch called Panchajanya. I, it is a transcendental conch shell. And uh, there, is a, there is a nice uh, place in the Krishna book, <coughs> chapter 12, 72, uh, the liberation of King Jarasandha, where there is a, a statement that is very nice to, to read about the council of uh, Krishna. So Prabhupada explained that uh, because the Lord is the supreme absolute truth, the result of his weapons is one and the same. With the club and the disc, he chastises the miscreant. Huh? With the club and the disc, Krishna chastises the demon. And with the conch shell and the lotus, Krishna gives his blessing to the devotee. And here it is said that, um, <coughs> that when Krishna, where is it? When Krishna blew, is blowing his conch shell, and with the lotus, he is offering blessing. He is telling his devotees, Kanteya prateja nihi name bhakta pranasheti. He is telling his devotees that uh, my devotee will never perish. Uh, we know uh, this verse from Bhagavad Gita, Kshipram uh, bhavati dharmatma. Shasvam Shantim Nigachati Kanteya Pratijani Hi Name Bhakta Pranashanti. Krishna asking Arjuna to say. Because when Krishna say, people may think, oh, Krishna can say, he, he can uh, trick, he is tricky. He may say something and then not, uh, <laughs> not uh, do it. Because Krishna is. Uh, even he, 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 he can break his promise sometime. But if his devotee make a promise, this is guarantee. The promise will not be broken. <coughs> so he is asking Arjuna, please tell that uh, 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 if a devotee is, um, it, this verse comes after Apichet Sudurachar or Bajetema Mananyabak. When a devotee um, may have difficulty in Krishna consciousness, but uh, still is sincere to perform devotional service and to uh, become Krishna conscious, uh, he should cons be considered a devotee. We should uh, still appreciate this devotee. And, uh, and then Krishna says, very soon he will become uh, faultless, he will become very Good devotee, Kshipram Bhavati Dharmatma Sasvat Santim Nigachati. He will uh, become uh, peaceful, and you, you can declare boldly, O oh Arjuna, that my devotee never perishes. So it is very, very nice meditation that uh, when Krishna blew his conscience, this is a meaning. It means, my devotee will never perish. It is very meaningful. Actually, uh, Krishna is very concerned. He's on only concerned for his devotees. He's very always thinking about his devotees. And uh, as much as the devotee always thinking about Krishna, Krishna always thinking of the welfare of his devotees. So he's actually, uh, Krishna is always very, uh, concern that for his devotees, uh, as well as the devotees are always very concerned for Krishna. So this is uh, very interesting. And uh, I noticed uh, that there is eight verses in the first chapter who are speaking about blowing conscience. Eight verses. It is a in quite a lot, actually. There is three verses here for about blowing conch shell, and when we go a little before, there is uh, another 
two, uh, three, four. There is another four verses that are about blowing conch shell. Uh, so th this conch shell uh, uh, take quite a place in Bhagavad Gita. Uh, more than ten, uh, seven verses, it is, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. So it is quite a special item, this, uh, isn't it? So um, there is another very nice place in the Krishna book about the conch shell, that uh, when, the, um, when the devotee of Vrindavan, by following the footprints of Krishna, that are marked with the flag, with the bow, with the conch shell, so the devotee of Vrindavan, they follow Krishna by seeing his footprints on the dust of Rindavan, and there is the, f the print of the conch shell. And finally, the habitant of Rindavan, they reach the Yamuna River. And, and what they see, they see Krishna that is, uh, all the they see the first the, all the cows and the boys uh, that were weeping, weeping, crying, because they were seeing Krishna in the coils of Kaliya. So everybody was in a state of a great uh, catastrophe. There is a statement in the Krishna book. Krishna's age, beauty, and bugle, and flute, and conch shell, and his pleasing attitude all provoke ecstatic love for Krishna. So it is very special. And there is another verse in the sixth Canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, O best of the conch shell, O Panchajanya, in the, in the hand of the Lord, you are always filled with the breath of Lord Krishna. And this creates fearful sound vibration that cause trembling in the heart of demons. So the, the devotees are very happy to hear the conch shell. There is also a place in the first canto when Krishna comes back to Dwaraka, he is blowing his conch shell to announce that he is coming to Dwaraka. Eh? And all the inhabitants of Dwaraka, they can, they can understand this is Krishna. And they become so happy. Eh? So the, the, the sound of conch shell makes the devotee very happy and makes the demon very afraid. Eh? So uh, the, the idea of the conch shell is uh, victory. Eh? The devotee will be victorious. He will never be vanquished. So it is to be understood that uh, even if the body of the devotee may be destroyed, still, because the devotee will not forget Krishna, will be Krishna conscious. This is the meaning that he actually is not vanquished. He is not destroyed. The, de the devotion of the devotee is... Uh, Indestructible. <coughs> I was speaking with uh, one Maharaj from uh, South America because I'm a little uh, worried and scared about what will happen in the world in some future because this situation in the whole world is very precarious, very, very scary. And he was telling me, don't worry. If you, if you absorb in the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, everything is perfect. Even if an atomic bomb is uh, sent to us, we have nothing to worry about. We just chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> so <laughs> it is easy to say, eh? but we, c we have to try that anyway. We have to try it. <laughs> so, uh, so, okay. So yes, the, the conch shell is announcing good news, the, the news of victory. Also, when we start the Arctic, we blow the conch shell. Huh? It is very happy, very like a very nice start, very nice start. M one of my friends uh, in the Harinam in Paris, we were doing Harinam in Paris, in the, in the metro of Paris, 
And if <laughs> you had taken the corn shell in the metro to start singing, we were doing a special harinam in the metro, in the wagon. It was, it was called Metro Yoga. <laughs> it was a surprise for three minutes in the wagon. People, oh, what is happening? And he, he had taken a grand shell. So it was kind of a spectacular. But and then, uh, so announcing good news of victory. So there is a famous verse that speaks about victory in the Sikshastakam. Param Vijayate, Shri Krishna Sankirtana. That uh, the Sankirtan of Shri Krishna is supreme victory. Let, let it be all victory for the Sankirtan, for the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra and for the spreading of Krishna Kata. Huh? Prabhupada explained that this spreading of Krishna Kata is the remedy, the panacea, uh, uh, universal panacea for all problems. In, uh, in this Kali Yuga, spreading of Krishna Kata. So we have to make it victorious by being uh, all of us very enthusiastic uh, to chant and to, among ourselves, always engage in Krishna Kata. Uh. So there is a very nice letter of Srila Prabhupada to his disciple Dayananda Prabhu. So here this letter is very nice. Always read and talk about Krishna between yourself. Krishna, Prabhupada is writing a, let, a letter, a personal letter to his disciple. Always read and talk about Krishna between yourself. Okay, you understood. Huh? Second, always remember that this life is only a flash, is very short. Okay, so then Prabhupada say, we have to seek after our eternal life. This life is very, very short, but we have to seek after the eternal life in Krishna consciousness. There is an eternal life and be transferred to the spiritual world in the association of Krishna. So this is very meaningful, huh? that uh, if we um, are very serious to always read and always speak about Krishna, we are preparing for eternal life. Huh? We so it is very, very significant. There is a, also it is explained that a nice verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, Ayu harati vai pumsam udyan astan chayana sao tasyarte yat nita utama shloka vartaya. Both by rising and by setting, the sun is diminishing the life of all uh, living entity, but not the life of somebody who is uh, always absorbed in chanting Hare Krishna or speaking Krishna Kata. This is a famous verse in the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So this is our uh, meditation. This uh, material existence is a, for somebody who is not Krishna conscious, is a constant anxiety. Because every minute is bringing us to death, especially when you get a little older, you, s you see it more and more very clear. Huh? And uh, if you are not Krishna conscious, it is a, a cause of being worried, of being uh, in anxiety. So, but the devotee is not in anxiety because he knows uh, everything is arranged by Krishna, old age is arranged by Krishna, and I have to leave this body, this is also Krishna's arrangement. So we try to make it successful, victor a victory. The great victory is uh, to remember Krishna at, at the time of death. This is a victory. Uh. So, uh, yes, uh, what is all right. So yes, so to in, in order to become uh, successful, victorious, uh, we need to follow the instruction of Siddha Prabhupada and the spiritual masters how to absorb nicely in ch Krishna consciousness. So there is a program, uh, chanting every day, uh, a minimum this 16 round, going to Mongol Arctic, reading. Uh, 
And uh, the, uh, our battle, we are in a battle against Maya. Huh? Maya means to uh, forget Krishna. Huh? So there is so many letters of, of Srila Prabhupada advising his disciple. So there is a nice letter, uh, Srila Prabhupada writing to his disciple, um, Govinda Dasi. It's a very nice letter where he says that uh, um, he says that, of course, you have to control your mind. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you have to control your mind. And as I already instructed you, Prabhupada right to Govinda Dasi, and also I instructed all my disciples that the only way to control the mind is to uh, remember, place our mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. And how to do that? The best way, the only way actually is chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And there is no other way, there is no other way. And then Prabhupada says, by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, uh, the devotee is crying, crying, crying to Radha and Krishna, take me out of material existence, take me in Krishna consciousness, take me in devotional service. Crying, crying, this should be our mood. Chanting Hare Krishna in this mood, this is nice. Prabhupada was saying, and um, so, and this is our victory. If we are in this attitude, humble attitude of crying, so we are victorious. This is victory. And then, uh, another, another way to do the uh, Sankirtan is to distribute the books of Srila Prabhupada. The books of Srila Prabhupada are uh, written Kirtan. Huh? So every morning there is announcement how many books have been distributed. It is a victorious result. Huh? Everybody, jai, jai, like this. Okay. So, um, so yes, this this material existence is he said that Krishna is the one who gives liberation from this material existence. So, in the nectar of devotion, there is a description that uh, material existence is called pavarga. Pavarga and liberation is called apavarga. Yes, apavarga means liberation, and uh, and Prabhupada explained that this pavarga can be, uh, according to Sanskrit uh, letters, can be explained in five le Sanskrit letters: pa, pa, ba, ba, and ma. You remember in length of devotion explained? Eh? Yes, pa, pa, ba, ba, and ma. So the first pa means parabhava, that means defeat. Huh? Huh? So it means defeat. So, and defeat means that because of the Maya illusion, we are unable to overcome the miseries of material existence. That is, Janma uh, Mrityu Jaravyadi, birth, death, old age, and disease. So, if we are in Maya, there is no way we can overcome this problem of birth, death, old age, and disease. No problem, no, no way. But it is possible to overcome this problem by becoming Krishna conscious. So, but how we can become Krishna conscious? We have to ask the help of Krishna and the spiritual master because we are helpless. There is this beautiful prayer to uh, Jagannath, Lord Jagannath. The last, uh, Jagannath Astakam, you know, Jagannath Astakam, very nice prayer. Aradvam sam saram drutataram asaram surapate Aradvam papanam vitatim param yadavapate Aho dinena te nihita charano nishitamidam So the meaning is, please my dear Jagannath, Take me out of this samsara, aradvam, ara, ara, take me out of samsara. Vi quickly, quickly do that, please. This useless repetition of birth and death. Oh, sura pate, oh, master of the sura, the demigod. 
Aradvam Papanam Bitatim. Oh, Slita Play, please take me out of the this accumulation of papa papa of sin. And due to this accumulation of sin we are we are stuck in in material existence. So please take me out of this accumulation of sin. Oh Yadava Pati. And uh, then it is explained how Dinenate Nita Please destroy this boundless accumulation of my sinful reaction. It is certain that Lord Jagannath bestows his lotus feet upon those who feel themselves humble and <coughs> helpless. So if we have this attitude of feeling humble and helpless, then, w then w we have a good, good chance to be saved. And if we are not in, we have to learn how to become like that. This is not, so this is the, the way. Um, so actually we are being rescued. We are being rescued by Srila Prabhupada and by Krishna and Srimati Radharani and the Acharyas <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Lord Jagannath. They are the rescuing us. Huh? So there is, <laughs> there is a very beautiful song. Actually we should always ask for rescue. Please rescue me. <laughs> I am in I am not very good, good situated. I need help. <laughs> so th that's why we should absorb in this mood, this mood. Krishna, uh, there is a Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur also saying, we should always pray Krishna and Balaram, who are the destroyer of demons. So many demons are blocking our progress in Krishna consciousness. So y there is a demons of laziness. <coughs> huh? I have this problem in the morning. I wake up and uh, I stay a few minutes. This is very bad. I should wake up. <laughs> I should immediately wake up. Uh, no, I wait for a few minutes. Terrible. This is a demon keeping me like that. So with your blessing, maybe I can overcome this demon. <laughs> so we have to pray Krishna and Balaram to, to fight against our demon in the mind. There's so many demons. So many kind of demons, isn't it? <laughs> Pralaya payo di jale dritavam asi vedam vihitravahita charitram makedam kesavadrita minasareiram ayagadi safare ayagadi safare ayagadi safare Sitar Shitiri Havi Pulatare Tistati Tava Priste Dharani Dharana Kina Chakra Gariste Kesavadrita Kurma Sharira Dajagadi Safare Dajagadi Safare Dajagadi Sahare Basati Dasana Sikare Dharami Tavalanga Shashini Kalanka Kalevani Manga Esavadrita Sukara Rupa Dajagadi Sahare Dajagadi Sahare this one you know. Tavakara Kamala Vare Nakam Aguta Singa Maleta Iranakasipo Tanu Bringa Esavadrita Narafaya Rajagadi So all this uh, manifestation of Krishna are rescuer. They come to rescue. <laughs> Matsya Avatar came to rescue the Veda. And uh, then uh, Kurma, it come to rescue the 
the churning of the milk ocean. There was a big problem huh? because the, the mountain was drowning in the ocean. So he came as a tortoise to, to hold the mountain huh? so that they can do the churning. And then comes Varaha. So what, the, what does Varaha? Rescue? Pig. Pig, big incarnation. Well, what does he do? Yes, the planet, Earth planet. He rescued the planet, the Earth planet. We need it. Uh, how, how, how we can do uh, devotional service if the Earth planet is, <laughs> is in the ocean? So then comes Nishingadev. Huh? So what, he what, what Nishingadev did? What he did? <laughs> yes, he comes to rescue Pralal Maharaj, to protect his devotees. So we, all the devotees of his con, they know this one very well. Then Vamanadev comes also to cheat Bali Maharaj, huh? because there was a big problem. Bali Maharaj had taken over the whole three planetary system. So in order to, to help the demigod, Vamanadev comes. And then, then Parashuram, he comes to annihilate the Kshatriya and then Lord Ram. He comes to rescue who? Who is rescuing? R Ramachandra. Uh, he rescuing Sita, yes, and yes from Ravana, and then come uh, Balaram, uh, Balaram, and then come Lord Buddha. He, he comes to rescue all the poor animal, uh, to stop the animal slaughter, yes. And then Kalki comes to finish with all these uh, demonic uh, ruler. And so this is a. Uh, Praitranaya sadunam vinashaya chaduskritam dharma samstapanataya sambhavami yuge yuge. So Krishna appears uh, in every millennium uh, regularly to uh, reestablish the principle of religion and to give, uh, to give association to his sadun, to his devotees, and to annihilate the, the demon, the bad people. But in the age of Kali, Krishna appears in, as a form of Lord Chaitanya to, to kill the demon in another way, because he kills the demon mentality. Huh? So we are also a little bit demon. I am also. So every day I'm trying to, <laughs> to kill my demon <laughs> by chanting, uh, by chanting Hare Krishna. This is, this is uh, in Kali Yuga, we have the demon inside our, ourselves. Is right there, so we, ha we have to work how to 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 kill our demon. This is a, this is our uh, responsibility as a good devotee. We are trying to be good devotee, and then we can help others. Huh? Then we can. Uh, it is very practical. So. Yes, so we need to be rescued by Krishna. And uh, in this age of Kali, the way to be rescued is this spreading of the chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. And this is the way. No other way. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Lama Rama, Hare Hare. So I hope it was not too much tiring presentation. <laughs> So, would you ha would you like to make a, a little comment or say something? Hare Krishna. Mataji, yes. Yeah, you said the kancho is auspicious. Very, yes. Uh, what about the Kuru's kancho? Yes. The paper blowing, what is also auspicious? Ah. <laughs> and, uh, on both sides, uh, yes, this is a in very interesting question, intelligent question. Actually, uh, in this story that uh, um, I was reading about in Krishna book, it is the killing of Jarasandha. And as you know, uh, Jarasandha, although he's a very bad, he's a demon, but still he's very dutiful of Vedic etiquette. He wanted to give charity to the Brahmana. He's very strict of following Vedic etiquette. And actually, uh, it is interesting uh, that uh, the demon 
they, they want to use the opulence of uh, Vedic culture, knowledge, and everything, but against Krishna. Yeah. So uh, the count shell in itself is, uh, is very auspicious, but uh, it can be used also by, by the bad people, by the demon also. Yes. Even the chanting of Hare Krishna, the non-devotee are also chanting Hare Krishna. Do you know that Mayavadi, who don't want to serve Krishna at all, they also chant Hare Krishna. I'm not very uh, well documented about that. But I know they also chant Hare Krishna, but not at all with the mood of uh, asking service to Krishna. In a completely uh, uh, wrong mood, in a mood that is Mayavadi philosophy. So even the Maha Mantra Hare Krishna can be, uh, can be used like that. This is a so it is said, that's why it is said that uh, we should be careful to hear the Krishna Kata from a devotee, not from, from a non-devotee, because this is just like the milk touched by the, the, by the serpent. Huh? It becomes poisonous. So we should we should uh, be careful. So I don't know the, if it answers your question, <laughs> but I think I wanted to you just al almost answer my question. Oh yeah. Uh, telling that uh, the demon is in our yes us, yeah and that we can kill this demon, demon yes by chanting the mantra. Mm. You ask if we have some notice. I want to make one more. Is it all? Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Uh, I want to make one notice. I think uh, maybe everybody knows it, but still I think it's never too much to emphasize it. It is not only chanting the Amaha Mantra, but it is the way how you chanting. What are you thinking? What is your attitude? What is your thought? Yes. If I could help people there, it is like see Krishna in front of you and just open your heart and just not chanting, oh, tomorrow I have one mission with somebody. Oh, after tomorrow I will eat somewhere. And Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I, I think, I think that it's never enough to emphasize. Do it just like you are talking to God. Yes, very attentive. So I can read for you some letter of Srila Prabhupada about chanting Hare Krishna. You like to hear? So there is uh, many letters that Prabhupada wrote personally to his disciple, especially in the late 60s. Prabhupada was more, he, he had more time in the late 60s to write personal letters to his disciples. So the, the letter of this particular time, 68, 69, are very, very nice. Because uh, when the movement became bigger, Prabhupada didn't have so much time to write like this, so personally to his disciple. So Prabhupada says, in the Priya Naradiya Puran, it is clearly stated that it is only chanting the holy name of Hari 
that can save the people from the problems of material existence. There is no alternative, no alternative, no alternative in this age of Kali. Okay. Every one of you is speaking to his disciples should, should be thoroughly convinced of the power of the Hare Krishna mantra to protect you in all circumstances. <coughs> so this is a direct instru instruction of Srila Prabhupada. We should be thoroughly convinced that by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, we will be protected in any circumstance. Okay. Then, when the Hare Krishna mantra is vibrating on your tongue and you are hearing attentively, uh -huh, then your consciousness becomes clear or Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada says. Your consciousness becomes Krishna consciousness because you are attentive and there is no question of maya or Hazi consciousness, Prabhupada say. Hazi, you know Hazi consciousness? That Hazi consciousness. Hazi. 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 H-A-Z-Y. Hazi. This is a, 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 only Prabhupada uses this word. <laughs> Hazi consciousness. Hazi. Hazi. Hazi, okay? So this is when you are not Krishna conscious, when you are not Krishna conscious, you are, you are in the hazy consciousness. We don't want that. We want Krishna consciousness. Okay. So, just like darkness cannot stand before the light, so Maya cannot stand before the presence of Krishna. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna, you can become free from envy, all inauspicious things, and cleared, are cleared from the heart by offenseless chanting, when we associate with Krishna through his holy name, so wherever you are, you should always go on chanting. We should go on chanting always, always, always. With attention, clearly chanting the mantra and listening very carefully, this is a recommended process for purifying the heart. Listening very carefully. Okay, very nice, huh? So this is... Uh, This is the way. <coughs> so thank you all very much. Huh? So, Sheila <laughs> Prabhupada, another question or comment? Uh, if you are tired, that you are so tired, you cannot chant. Ah, you mean silence? Yes, it is. A, yes, it, this is a. We have to do. We have to do every day fifteen hours. Yeah. Normally, the japa, japa means you chant softly, that only, in, only for you to hear. Uh, what is happening is many times you chant amongst devotees, and devotees are not doing japa, they are doing kirtan, actually, because, <laughs> because they chant so loud, ah, so loud. that uh, everybody is hearing. Ah. But uh, normally, japa is very soft, it's only for you to hear, not for others to hear. But uh, it is good to, to, even if it is very, very soft, to, to still, vi still vibrate. And it is true if you are tired, you save a lot of energy by chanting very softly, because it takes energy to, to produce the sound. So uh, it happens when we are tired, we can chant very, very softly. And almost, almost uh, silently, but still it's supposed to be a little sound. This is the method of Japa. But uh, when a devotee becomes advanced and very fixed, then he can chant silently. But I think it is an advanced stage. It is not, uh, or maybe we can do it a little bit, but not too much, because uh, it is advanced to be able to chant like that. 
This is my understanding. I, I may be wrong, but it is what I learned, what I heard. So give the give the mic. To control the mind, it is very much essential to listen very carefully. Yes. This is very much essential. Yes. Otherwise, the mind cannot be controlled. Exactly, yes. Right. This is the life essential. Yes. We have to speak loudly. Yes, this is very good. Yes. Thank so you. So there are so many uh, devotees come in this uh, come in this temple actually. Hmm. They said, no, no, we do very silently. So, yes. Not, this will not uh, happen actually. You have you have to pronounce yes yes, yes. there must be some sound yeah and you have to hear yes well it is the, as it, there is a nice uh, section in Chaitanya Charitamrita yes. that by by the movement of the lips and the tongue you are producing the sound transcendental sound yes transcendental sound and your hear is engaged in hearing yes. this in this in the devotional service by the Lord's name. Exactly. And when we are engaged in this activity, it means the mind is under control. The mind is under control, yes. Yes, yes. there is a nice section in Chaitanya Charitamrita explaining exactly this point. By this lips uh, uh, activity and tongue, you, pr you, you produce the Hare Krishna mantra, you hear nicely. And this is, this is uh, the process of Japa. Yes. And there is it helps a lot if you if you if you stand a little straight like this. It helps me. I, it helps me a lot. Yes, yeah, helps a lot. And w to to stand like this, not to stand like this, to stand like this. It helps the mind. I have a very difficult mind, so it helps me to to to, to sit straight. It helps. Huh? Not everybody. Yes. So then you can sit on the chair. Yeah, but, this is but the idea is to, to keep your to keep your your back straight. Yes, it's 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 easier. It's easier. No, it is not about that. It's about your back. Don't stay like this. Stay like this. Yes, straight. Yes, it's better. <laughs> and uh, there is many ways to to find uh, energy. Uh, I mean, spiritual encouragement during the chanting is to. To <coughs> chant uh, some little uh, <coughs> Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda or Omagana Timerandasya. Uh, when we say Omagana Timerandasya, we, we, we invoke the help of the spiritual master who opens our eyes with the lamp of knowledge. And when we sing uh, Vandeham Shiguru Shri Uttaparakarma, we, we offer obeisances to all devotees of all of the whole universe and Vanshakalpa, Tarubhyascha, all this mantra, it helps to, yeah, personally I use it, even it makes my chanting a little uh, more slow, but it gives me uh, impetus for uh, keeping uh, alive in, uh, in chanting and hearing, because we need to remember the six Goswami, very nice, the six Goswami, they are always available to help us. So there is this uh, uh, Sad Goswami Ashtakam, very, very nice. So this will be very helpful during the chanting. But uh, it is, uh, there is no hard and fast rule. That everybody finds his own uh, rasa with the holy name. <laughs> everybody finds his own, his own uh, story with the holy name. There is no hard and fast rule. But uh, as Prabhu says, we should be very attentive. This is, a, this is essential. We should be very attentive in hearing, pronouncing nicely. There is uh, also, Prabhupada says, we should hear ourselves sincerely chanting the mantra Hare Krishna. So this is, uh, the we should be hearing ourselves sincerely chanting. This is a way. We should hear we should hear ourselves sincerely chanting Hare Krishna. This is Prabhupada uh, advice. <laughs> okay. Any other comment? Oh, it's okay. So the 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 council of Krishna Kija. Shila Prabhupada Kija. <laughs>